acids. Of course, it would be for lactic acid because you're working the muscles more, right? What if your body had the ability to neutralize and move these acids? See, I, I'm telling you, it, it's a whole different world athletically when you're at these high levels of raw. A whole different world. You just, you surpass everyone else. And, and intellectually, from, from academics, it's a whole different world. Look at these young children and where they go on raw foods. I mean, it's like, ho, ho, whoa, whoa, look at their awarenesses grow like crazy. I mean, you guys are building the future like nobody's business. This planet's never seen anything like this before. And you guys are part of this evolutionary explosion of consciousness. It has to to buffer the negative explosion. Wow, 2,000 to 5,000 feet. And that also, think about oxygen and everything else. The, the less obstruction you have anywhere, anywhere, lungs, blood vessels, anywhere, the stronger, the more oxygenation, the more hydration, all of these things are key factors in athletics or in just everyday life. And all of that is remedied with the raw foods and especially the fruits and the berries and the melons, I'm telling you. Now, I've heard before things such as alfalfa spouts, wheatgrass, dandelion, parsley are great for athletics. All of those are. Wheatgrass, okay. Alfalfa sprouts, baby. You're talking muscle, baby, and strength. Uh, dandelion, all the chemistry, honey. And then parsley, that's your, both of those are kidney adrenal poppers. Uh, the root of dandelion, of course, is more hepatic, liver, pancreas, gallbladder, that sort of thing. But you're right on. You're right on in your thinking there, uh, uh, Chad doing good, man. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, girls, settle down. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this hunk. Yep. And he went down thin. He understood that. He understood the malabsorption. Fix it and look at him on his way out. This guy is incredible. Love this guy. Incredible. Do, incredible. Doing extremely well. Let me keep this picture and show people how well you're doing. You remind me of uh, Steve Arden. Uh, you remind me of Steve, Steve Arden. He's got the, he wrote the book with David Wolf. And then he wrote his own book, Raw Power, and he's got a big picture of his muscles with all, filled with all the food in there. I think it's out of print, but uh, I did have a picture of that to show you, but things kind of tiptoe out of here sometimes. <laughs> now, I want to see this one here. Oh, darn. Well, we got a few more minutes. i got all week to be with you, and I'm going to come after and catch up one way or another. Come hell or high water, we're going to catch up. Oh, I, all right. This is uh, D-A-A-K-A, -A -A, DACA Jewelry. Now, I, that probably means... Anyway, hello, Dr. Morse. I just discovered you this week, and all of what you say makes sense. Thank you. Well, I tell you what. We try to spout off what we see, what we know is truth, what, I, what I've personally experienced through clinicals and spiritually. Outside of that, it, everything's worthless to me. If it isn't based on some kind of truth, I don't like to mess with it, because why tie yourself to crap? We don't have, I don't have time for crap. I, I want to get this done. I'm out. I, I, I got, you know, there's a lot of worlds out there, guys. And you guys are going to get more aware of them and working in them. A lot of you are doing that now. You know who I'm talking about. And so there's a lot of levels to, to, to do things and to have fun. There's a lot of worlds to help. So there's a lot of things just in friggin' creation you can play with as long as you become more conscious and become a conscious traveler. So there's so much, so much fun, so much stuff. Getting out of this little closet called Earth, you know. Uh, she's learning as she's going. Uh, I've been using herbs for the past three years as a novice. But that's how you get, you, you play with it. You taste them, you smell them, you, you get used to them. That's how you play with herbs. You know, there's no machine that tells you that this herb's good and this herb's bad. I mean, that, that, that's, that, that's FDA crap. Yeah, we want a machine. 
Matter of fact, I want you all, you know, all your testimonials, uh, the way you've had trouble with the uh, AMA, how they've hurt you, the things they've done, wouldn't be bad to put a testimonial to us on those because there is a time the FDA is still getting brazen. They're making all the herb companies have a, a hiring person to just to deal with their their uh, restrictions and their regulation. They're making it so hard on us, which they don't realize is a lawsuit coming. Come on, man. You're going to come after you. You can't violate our rights, but they've gotten away with it so long that they're just brazen now. They're going to shut down Diamonds Organic or shut down this and shut down that. Things are going to turn, guys. I don't care. The things are going to turn. You can't continue to be corrupt like this. You just can't do it. If I was the guys at the FDA, I would leave now. Run. Because you guys are going to get in trouble. You've hurt too many people. You're just... But they're making these herb companies toll lines that are stupid and ridiculous. So herb prices are going up. We're still holding, but I can tell you we're going to have to go up. We're holding at a level we just can't make a lot of profits with. But still, and we offer wholesale... Think about that, uh, Mr. Schultz. Help others. Help your practitioners. If your products are good, I've always felt that our goal is to change the world, not to make money. Our goal is to change the consciousness of the world and to help those that are suffering. But those are the spiritual healers. Make a big difference. Now, learning as I go, and my go-to herbalist is Susan Weed. Uh, I recently, I ran into an article of hers about herbal cleansing being harmful for your liver. She doesn't believe in cleansing the body, but nourishing it, which makes sense to me. So with respect to you and her, I am confused. I don't be confused. Because she's not right. She's far from wrong. Or being right. She, is, uh, she doesn't understand nature uses cleansing. Cleansing is the process that everything, you clean your car out, don't you? You clean your house out, don't you? You clean your personal stuff up after a while. You get tired of that materiality. You'll get rid of it and replace it. Or for some of you like me, we don't like material things too much, so we like to be free from too many material things. Mm -hmm. But detox is the natural, natural thing. You can't stop it. Just eat right. See, what she doesn't understand is if you eat the way your body's designed to eat, you can't stop detox. It's going to happen irregardless because it isn't me doing it. <laughs> it's your body, it's nature, that's the rhythm of nature, and it uses detox on all of its animals to do that. When you get sick in nature, it puts you down. You don't, you don't eat. Why? What, what is fasting all about? Oh, you've got to hurt the liver? She doesn't know what she's talking about. All the greens, all the herb, uh, all the fruit, all those neutralized toxins. I mean, that's exactly, most of the toxins you're referring to are acid toxins. And these things are, are neutralizers of all this. So this, this this lady, no offense to her, but she doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, yeah, but if you're going to give nutrition to your body, what kind of nutrition? And that's obviously she doesn't understand that when you give your body raw foods, which is the, the only nutrition, if you're talking nutrition, that's the only nutrition there is. You, you don't give nutrition in bottles. You give nutrition in food and herbs. They're all nutritious, 